Here are some notes on ductal dependent congenital heart lesions. Ductal dependent lesions are congenital heart lesions that have a patent ductus arteriosus shown here and they depend on that PDA to maintain adequate blood flow to either the pulmonary or systemic circulation. Here's some examples. Pulmonary atresia, which is shown here in the background. You can see the atritic pulmonary valve, and the right side of the heart is much smaller than the left side of the heart. In this case, you're relying on the left side of the heart to pump blood both in the systemic circulation as usual, but also on that PDA to get that pumped blood into the pulmonary circulation. Another example is hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Kind of the opposite here. In hypoplastic left heart, you'd have a smaller left heart, and you'd be relying on the right heart to pump blood through the pulmonary valve um, into the pulmonary circulation as usual, but also through the patent PDA into the systemic circulation. Another example is transposition of the great vessels, where you essentially have two separate circuits, um, the right heart and the left heart going into two individual circuits, and they're only uh, connected by that patent PDA. The management of congenital heart lesions that are ductal dependent includes giving prostaglandin E2. This is used to maintain patency. Close monitoring is also required because there are complications of prostaglandin, like hypotension and apnea. The basis here is that the PDA normally allows for blood flow from the pulmonary artery to the aorta in utero, and it normally closes 12 hours after birth. In ductal dependent lesions, these closures can be life-threatening due to compromised circulation. There are other factors that affect the PDA. Things that affect patency include hypoxia, hypercarbia, and hypothermia. So sometimes you'll actually run patients at a lower pulse ox, maybe 85 to 90, in order to keep that PDA open. Factors promoting closure are NSAIDs and increased PaO2. So again, sometimes you want to have a lower PaO2 than you would in a healthy child in order to keep that PDA open. So early recognition and prompt prostaglandin administration are, cru are crucial for surviving in these conditions.